Donald Trump taking the spotlight today, unveiling his economic agenda at the New York Economic Club in Manhattan, promising 3.5% growth and a whole bunch of policies that he says would create 25 million jobs over 10 years. His plans do cost money. Where will the money come from? Let's bring in Marty Feldstein. He's professor of economics at Harvard, former chairman of the Council of Economic Advisors under President Reagan. Lots of tax cuts. We can put them up on the screen. He is lowering them for every tax bracket, making three tax brackets versus seven. And uh, the poor you know, people who make less than 75000 will get it. Just pay 12%. We can put these up and you can see exactly what's happening. But will they work to create growth? They will certainly help. There's no question that, that high rates discourage uh, entrepreneurship, discourage work, cause people to... Uh, take advantage of, of tax provisions to lower their rather than earning more. So yes, they will work. But there's a big problem in the um, Trump uh, tax cut plan. Remember, he's going to cut the corporate rate mm -hmm. to 15 percent from 35 percent. From 35 percent. But a lot, about half of all business activity is done outside the corporate sector. So if you're a small business with a reasonable income you'd be paying 33 percent so that's going to be a problem it's okay. going to be a problem politically it's going to be a problem economically you know he shook your hand in the audience have you spoken to him about that no you should because there are a lot of people saying actually this may become a problem and you pair it with what he said would be 500 billion spent on infrastructure he wants to get rid of the sequester cuts which would then cost about 450 mm. billion over 10 years that's a trillion. Yeah. That's There's a no, lot of spending. So that's a separate problem from this tax structure problem. The fact well, that. Well, revenues are supposed but, to cover some of this. It, well, but not enough. So uh, uh, there wasn't a regular QA with him, mm -hmm. but uh, John Paulson interviewed him, and John asked me if I had a question, and I said, please ask him about um, what's happened, how he deals with the deficit and the debt. And he didn't have much of an answer. 2002, George W. Bush um, enacted, I believe, three, or his third big tax cut. Uh, there are a lot of people who say that that really didn't entirely work. In fact, unemployment remained at 5.7 percent by December of that year. It was at 6 percent. You really believe in what some people call trickle-down economics? Uh, I do. I think that if you have a good tax policy, it does, as President Kennedy said, raise all boats. It does help the economy as a whole, but the, the deficit being created by these big tax cuts, there's no answer for. So one of the things that uh, Mr. Trump said is, well, we'll, we'll cut back on non-defense discretionary spending, okay. one cent on every dollar. And you can imagine how much that adds up to, said he, but it doesn't add up to a lot. Non-defense discretionary spending is about 3% of GDP. So if you cut back 1% of 3%, you get sort of next to nothing. Yeah, I believe that's called the penny plan. But guess what? Tax cuts for all certainly is a popular, popular idea. Martin, thank you very much. Good being with you. Martin Feldstein, Harvard economics professor, worked for Reagan.